Hello everybody. Welcome to Controllers Tech. After receiving a lot of requests on the topic, today I have decided to make a video about interfacing SD card with STM32 using SPI mode. In this video, we will do some basic file handling. This includes creating, opening, read, write, update, and deleting the files. Other complex functions, such as directory related and file system related functions, will be covered in the upcoming videos. I am using STM32F103 controller and STM32Q by DE. So let's start by creating the project in CubeMX. Select the FATF's file system, and pay attention to the settings here. I will be using SPI1 in full duplex master mode. Also, I will use UART to transmit data, and REST is the usual settings. So, the project is created. I will just quickly build it once, so the errors can be avoided. Copy the library files that we are going to need to the respective folders. We need to include this file, that we just copied. Also, to use some string functions. Next, open fatfssd.h file, and use a diskioh file.
Here, we need to link the file system, to our driver. Just follow me. Note that, the arguments here, should be same as, they are in the function, to which, this is a part of. Let's build it again to check for errors. And yes, we do have some errors. But don't worry, we will get rid of them in our next step. In the fatfssd.c file, make sure you define the CS port and CS pin, that you are using. Also, the SPI handler. The default here is SP1. Let's close these, as they are done. And, open the interrupt handler. Here, we need to define our timer functions. These timers should run independently, and that's why, it's best, if we define them in the Cystic Handler. Note here, all errors are gone. Also, this is it for the configuration. Let's move to our main function now. I am creating some variables, that I am going to use. These include, fs, for file system, fill, for the file, f result, for storing the result of each operation, and buffer, to store the data, which we can read or write. BR, and BW stores the counter to the read and write in the file. And at last, some variables to check the capacity of the card. I am writing this function, send uart, to make it easy to write the data to the uart. Buff size is used, to determine the size of the buffer, up to which, it is filled. And at last, a function to clear the buffer. Ok, let's start our main program by mounting the SD card first. And, we are going to use fmount function, to do so. There is some verbose, in case of a failure. Next, we are going to check the capacity of the card. We are going to use, fgetfree function, to do so. The total size, and the free space, will be sent via the UART.
Now, it's time to create our first file. Fopen function is used to open a file, and if the file does not exist, it will create it, and then opens it. Here, Fopen always does that job of creating file. Also, Fread, and Fwrite, are the access given to the file. Next, we are going to write some string to the file, using, fputs function. And then, close the file. Now, in order to read it, we need to open it with read access, and then, copy the string from the file, to the buffer, using fgets function. Here, fill.f size, is the size of the data in the file. Now, we need to close the file. Let's build our code and test it. Take a look at the output of the UART. It shows us the total size, and the free space in the card. It also shows, that the file was created, and the string, that was written the file. This function used, fgets, and fputs, to read and write string. Next, we are going to take a look at the fwrite, and fread, functions, which do the same things. Here, I am creating another file, that is, file2.txt, and, I am going to use fwrite, to write some data into it, and, fread, to read the data from it. Also, buffer is clear to make sure that, it is empty before we read the data. fwrite function, takes the data from the buffer, and write it into the file. Remember that, it will start writing from the starting point in the file. And any data will be overwritten. The BW, is the pointer to the counter, for the number of bytes written. fread function, will read the data from the file, and save it in the buffer. Fill.f size, is the size of the data in the file. BR, is the pointer to the count variable, for the number of bytes to read from the file. It's time to test the code now. As you can see, along with the result from the previous section, it gives us some new information also. It shows, that the file2.txt was created, and you can see the string, that I wrote to the file2. Let's now see, how to update an existing file. Here, I want to update the second file. To do so, I will use the function, flseek. This function takes two parameters. The first is the pointer to the file, and the second is the offset, from where, you want to start the update process. Here I am using, the file size as the offset. This means that, I want it to start from the end, and continue writing. The rest of the reading process is same. Open the file, read the data, close the file. Let's test our code, and check the results. As you can see, this data, is up to the last section. And this is the updated data. This string is first printed from the file too. And after updating the file, it again gets printed, along with the new string. Let's see, how to delete the files, from the card.
we are going to use flink function, which takes only one parameter, and that is, the path to the file itself. If the result is OK, it will be printed in the output. And at last, we will unmount the SD card. It's time to test it now. As you can see, both the files are removed, and the SD card is unmounted successfully. Let me just show you, what happens, if we try to remove files, which are not present in my SD card. Note that, the success message is not shown now. And those repetitions, you see on the top, is due to the fact that, the string is keep appending in the file. This is it for this video guys. I hope you understood it very well. You can download the code from the link in the description. Leave comment in case of any doubt. Have a nice day.